My name is Ryan Ostreich and I am the general manager of the Music Box Theater. So back in 1928, somebody had a crazy idea to build a neighborhood movie palace. So they went on the far north side at that time and built the Music Box Theater with nine storefronts attached and 32 apartments above it. Music Box has been around since 1929, so it's not as old as Wrigley Field, but it is one of the oldest establishments that have been continually running for the history of, of the neighborhood. So it really brings something special in terms of not only embracing its history, but interacting with its history. And then in 77, some of the management changed up and the owners just didn't really care anymore. So they started leasing out the building to different tenants, but it completely changed. And then somebody had the idea that, hey, let's try to rebrand, or kind of rebirth the music box. So in 83, it's opened with some new tenants who brought in the current model that you now know the music box to be, which is this mix of repertory and new art house stuff. So since 1983, we've been showing a lot of the films that people know about. So Louis Simon, who was a, a well-known Chicago architect back in the time, did design the music box. He had a Spanish-Italian influence. He kind of wanted to recreate a Spanish or Italian courtyard. To really kind of embrace that atmosphere, he created these sort of vaulted ceilings and, and sort of the stars and the clouds. And it gives you this idea that you're in this open courtyard watching a film so that you really kind of have a feel and an atmosphere to any movie that you see before you even watch the movie. The Music Box is well known across the country for its style of programming, it, the beauty of its look and feel, and its architecture, and sort of the overall kind of quality that it brings to art houses. Pictures don't do it justice when you're there in the program and watching movies. It's, it's pretty amazing. We do so many different events, and we have traditions, which people really know us for our traditions. We have two traditions that I think people know us for the best. Right after Thanksgiving, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do Sing Along Sound of Music. And that is a wonderful time because we ask people to dress up and come with their singing voices ready. And they come up and they get into the theater and it's a sold out house, we're talking 700 people. And we have a, a ringmaster who kind of comes in and starts the show with our live organist and it gets you ready with a couple of songs and all the kids who are dressed up come up and win prizes. And then we play the Sound of Music and the words are on the screen so you can sing along. So imagine 700 people just singing the most wonderful cherished songs all together and they just love it. And we've been doing this for so long that we've had to add shows every year because we don't have enough seats. We maintain midnight movies and we will show some of the craziest, cultiest, weirdest stuff. For one night we show The Room, which is a raucous crowd and a lot of spoons, don't, don't ask me why. Uh, and then Rocky Horror Picture Show with the shadow cast. Uh, they're called Midnight Madness. But we also do not sort of confine ourselves in any way. We've had Wes Anderson, uh, we've had red carpet premieres for Ben Affleck and Jennifer Aniston, we've had uh, Nick Offerman here, we've had Paul Thomas Anderson here. I mean, basically, the music box kind of like puts itself out to the world as like, it's a, like a premier venue. It's fantastic how it's grown organically too. It's the oldest running movie theater in terms of a classic movie theater that has not closed, um, that shows a variety of movies in, in this sort of uh, venue um, in all of Chicago. The music box has maintained and it's been here throughout it all and it's always brought in films and crowds and community together in, in its way of, you know, kind of diverse, crazy, fun programming that have maintained no matter what was happening in the world or what's happening in the city.